Judge Mershon then warned Trump that should the gag order violations continue, he will not hesitate in locking Trump up. One night in jail, one night, hundreds of protesters in New York City are spending the night in jail. But there's no room at the inn for this homunculus, this orange spray tanned turd Donald Trump. They don't have a cell for Donald Trump. Well, worse news for Donald Trump on Tuesday when the judge ruled that Trump can, in fact, attend his son's high school graduation in Florida later this month, which now means Trump has no excuse for not being there. Now he's got to show up. You think it's torture for him to sit eight hours in a courtroom, having to spend time with his family, even tougher. There are several reports that this trial is taking a toll on Donald Trump. If you've seen him walk into the courtroom, walk out of the courtroom at the end of the day, he's stooped, tired, and distant. He seems depressed, although I don't think his mental illness allows for melancholy. Trump no longer pretends to stay awake. And on Tuesday, he drifted off once again during court proceedings, almost as a sign of disrespect. It was a sign of disrespect, but more likely the horse tranquilizer he's been prescribed to keep his mouth shut so he doesn't violate yet another gag order. Trump is not doing well. He feels abandoned isolated and that explains why for the first time since this trial began his son eric accompanied him and i can only assume he felt even more isolated alone and abandoned with that idiot standing by his side noticeably absent from all these trials melania i wonder why Is it something Trump might have said? Like, hey, my wife is pregnant. Want to have unprotected sex with me? Or, hey, my wife just gave me a son. Want to have unprotected sex with me? I think that might have been what he said. 